This video is just seen by the title called Vampires and Veins. So first off we're going to make a mix of our own paint. And the mix I've made is one part Rakar Flesh and I've used two parts of the Space Wolf Grey. Uh, I believe Space Wolf Grey now is a contrast paint so you'll just want to find a lighter grey tone which makes this colour here. Now adding a little bit of contrast paint into it as well, just to thin it down a bit. Now ready to apply it onto the skin areas. Next, we're using the Rakar Flesh again, only this time we're not mixing the Space Wolf in and we've, we've added water and the reason why we're adding water instead of Lamia Medium is because we want to weaken the strength of the paint, not just thin it down. And we're using this as a wash. So when it dries, it sinks into the recesses. Now for the veins. I've painted the, the veins with Ultramine Blue. I think they call it with Crag Blue now. It's just a case of doing a series of fine lines all over the skin areas however I haven't covered the very front of the face and I've covered the the hand but I haven't covered the fingers next however we want to try and turn those veins down so I've done a mix the same as the previous mix for the original skin colour I've applied a lot of Lamia medium and this time around you want to apply this as a glaze so you want to try and make sure the cover of the paint is, is even on the uppermost areas of the of the skin but also in the depths of the skin as well And you only want a small amount to cover a large area to do this. This coat should make the blue a little bit less obvious. We're going to let this coat dry and then reapply this coat again. Here, what you can see is I've added some of this wash. And I've applied it into the eye sockets, inside the ears, and some of the deeper recesses, like in, like in the muscles here, in between the fingers. And I've put a bit down the side of the head here, but I've only done it as a very light wash, just to try and give a bit of depth to some of the deeper areas. Once again, I'm applying a coat of the original mix. It's a very thin wash. I've now added a bit of white to the eyes and a bit of black for the mouth being the mouth open. Next, I'm using some Blood for the Blood God. And we just want to put a little drizzle 
of blood down his uh, down his mouth. Beans is a vampire. And we just want to put some pupils in his eyes and he's finished.